what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Skins here today, and we are back. Welcome to the second edition of Server Spotlight. Today we're on a fairly new server, this is called Gamble PS, and as you can tell by, um, what's this guy's name, Plocks PK are running around, this is a custom server, meaning it has a lot of custom items, custom bosses, and all that jazz. And today... We're going to go through, you know, the mini games, uh, how it all works, what bosses there are, uh, what sort of customs they have, all that jazz. We're going to go through it all. So let's get started with um, these tabs, um, these uh, interface tabs. So as you can see, I'm uh, level 167 at the minute, which means all skills uh, go up to 135, except for I think Dungeoneering only goes up to 120 I'm not entirely sure but every other skill goes up to 135 and I think it makes your combat level uh, 188 when you're fully maxed so that's that's basically it for this tab if you go into this tab we've got teleports so um, main teleports we've got uh, you know the home uh, which is this area I'm currently in one build tickets floor one and two they're basically just NPCs they drop um, one build one build tickets uh, you've got the ticket boss, which is like a, a large version of the NPCs uh, on these two floors here, and it drops. I think it drops more. And then you can uh, claim a dice bag if you've got. Um, I think that's five five trillion GP. Uh, you've got the donator zone uh, for regulars and above, uh, which is basically just here. Uh, you've got uh, these crurors. Um, I I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. And uh, I think that's a crystal key chest, and then you've got uh, these portals. Um, I don't think they're currently functional though. And then you've got, uh, you know, the uh, altars at home, and um, all this other stuff. There's nothing around. Uh, there's nothing around here, unfortunately. But um, I'm sure they'll add something eventually. Uh, like I said, this is uh, currently in the works. It's a uh, new server. Then you've got the super donor. No, no uh, can't speak. Super donator zone for uh, super donators and above. Um, which has uh, phoenixes and I think it's yeah death tours and um, it's basically the same as the other zone except um, it's got this little car here and basically you can just drive it about it's quite it's quite cool to be honest but um, yeah that's basically it for the uh, donator zones then you've got the uh, corp don't really need to go into any detail about that uh, Virago Torva zone Pokemon's 135 um, HP boss I think that is, or maybe you need to be, uh, oh yeah, I need 135 hit points to uh, to enter this zone, and I, oh, okay, so I need to, uh, actually I haven't been here yet, so we'll just eat up a bit, and um, I don't think I actually have any food, I'm not sure, no, I don't have any food, okay, so we can't go there just yet, but um, yeah, we've got the Hulk Torvas, Hulk Torva boss, um, the Pions, White Knights, um, I can't even pronounce that, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Uh, 1 million hit points boss, which is uh, quite unique, I've never really seen that before. Uh, Shadow, um, which you need to be a donator and you need 7,500 kills uh, to go to. Uh, the Rock Island, which you need uh, 3,500 kills to go to. Geodude's Cave, so I'll just scroll back a bit. Geodude's Cave, Leeches, which you need to be a sponsor for. And the skilling zone. I actually haven't actually been to the skilling zone yet, so let's uh, let's check that out. Okay, so uh, this is quite new. I haven't really seen this area before. So I guess oh, you've got a lot of anvils around here. Let's talk to this guy. Oh wow, diamond pickaxe from Minecraft. I have not seen that before. That's quite cool. All right, all right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So is this is basically just your skilling area, I guess. Oh, this is Varrock. I didn't even notice. Okay, so this is just there, uh, this is Varrock. And then you got your smithing in there and other bits and pieces around. So we won't go into too much detail about that because um, I'm basically just going to be going over the customs and whatnot. Um, and then you've got the dice zone and uh, shops. In here you've got um, all the links, or main links, so uh, to go to the homepage forums, uh, to vote, to donate, to claim your vote and to claim your donation. Um, I don't know what this is, uh, maybe it's a uh, monster drop logs or something. And you've got um, kind of stats, so your dice jewel ratio, I've apparently won 120 dice jewels, which is not true. 
and then you've got um, how many players are online, so right now there's 18 people on, and then you can call for help as well. So um, that's basically it, um, yeah everything everything else is pretty much the same as uh, every other server, so yeah let's just go into, um, let's go into the customs and whatnot now. Okay, so this is actually a shop where uh, you can sell items to, apparently. So, um, as you can see, some people have been selling some of their customs. So, right here we've got a Lime Spirit Shield. This looks quite cool. Unfortunately, you can't buy things from this shop. You can only sell them, but um, still, we can see we can see what it's all about. So, um, a Lime Spirit Shield. I haven't really seen anything like this before. Uh, a Monkey Cape. Um, not sure what that's going to turn out like. Uh, then you've got the wings, obviously. Uh, colourful blades, new weapons. Uh, Ecto Calibre, I have no idea what that is, it might be a shield. Um, Bandless boots, they're not custom. Uh, you've got all these gloves, uh, more wings, you know. Uh, all this stuff, all this stuff. And you've even got um, auras on this server, which is quite cool as well. And then uh, let's just go for the shops while we're here. So, this is the one build ticket store. Uh, you can buy all these caskets, um, and our prayer potions, frost dragon bones. So. Basically, for how the car caskets work is um, you've got levels one through uh, six, and um, obviously the higher uh, level, the better loot you can get. So um, let's just swap what, what we got here. Let's uh, let's get one of these, and let's get one of these. Can we get one of these? And one of these? One of these? Can we get one of these? Oh, we can't quite afford that one. Oh, okay, I need a couple more one build tickets, but. Um, Basically, what I'm going to do, I'll go get some uh, some more uh, tickets, and then um, we'll open um, all of these and see what sort of loot you can get. All right, so now we've got all the caskets. We're just going to go through them, uh, starting from the uh, easiest one first, obviously. So let's have a look what we're going to get from the easiest one. So from the easiest one, we're going to get something like um, some steads, maybe or the uh, glaven boots, some uh, not glaven boots, um, glacial boots, uh, things like that. So from the second level, we've got a uh, battle mage boot, so it uh, ups it a bit, as you can see. Third casket, we've got a permix body. Uh, what one's the fourth? I think it's this one. Uh, fourth, we're getting a devil spirit shield. Okay, so that's new. Um, the fifth one, dragon bone plate legs, and the sixth one, a moss full helm. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at these uh, the custom items that we've got. So. Um, the Moss Full Helm, I'm quite interested to see that. Okay, so it's kind of like Torva, but it's, um, it's a bit different. Let's take this um, take this gear off, see what sort of stats it has. Okay, so wow. Yeah, so that, that's pretty beast. Um, it gives a 63 strength bonus, all these defense bonuses. And uh, even gives 20 prey bonus, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the uh, the Devil Spirit Shield here. Okay, so not as great, but it gives uh, some alright defense bonuses. And then, you know, we've just got the rest of the things that aren't really custom items. So, um, oh yeah, may as well uh, go over that while I'm here. This is the owner cape. Um, basically, you can donate for this. It costs $450. Uh, I did not donate for it. It was given to me um, for uh, this video specifically. And um, basically, you wear it and it gives uh, these uh, extremely overpowered um, stats. Um, as well as um, when uh, when you click it, when, well, when you use the teleport command, uh, it brings you here, which is the um, owner's owner's cave, I guess. Um, so let's just wear this, and you've got all these bosses, you know, uh, mini corp, uh, mini armadillo boss, mini uh, um, what's it called, chaos elemental, mini bandos, um, mini KBD, and then you come over here, you've got Hulk Torvers. Um, Dark Death Torvers, um, Cal Cal ones, um, Shadow Forger, you know all these all these custom bosses here, and you know they're really easy to kill, um, especially when you have this uh, owner cape on. Like, I just kicked a whatever that was, so yeah, they're really easy to kill. Let's just uh, show off the little spec uh, custom spec animation it has on this sword. So um, you know they're really easy to kill, like I've said uh, numerous times, and um, yeah, this, it, this server is full of bosses like this. Alright, so now let's go over some of the uh, mini games that this server has to offer. So, the most popular one, I believe, is the Tazhar mini game. And this is basically, you just enter here. And, um, 
But I can enter. Oh, you cannot enter this game with the uh, owner's cape. Okay, so let's just take this off. Enter, and then we'll wear it. <laughs> okay, so basically this is, um, I think this is basically Jad. But um, in a in a different kind of kind of layout. Um, not too sure how it works. I haven't actually done this mini game yet, but um, I know that there's a bunch of waves, and obviously you have to uh, you have to kill uh, all these um, all these minions, and then you eventually uh, you probably eventually fight Jad. I think that's probably how it works, and then you get some sort of reward. I'm not 100% sure, but um, this is basically the bizarre mini game. I'm not. Like I say, I'm not too sure how it works, but um, I think it's pretty easy. All you need to do is like soul spirit, bring a lot of food, prayer pots, and stuff. You can heal off them when you uh, use soul split, but of course you have to be careful. So uh, let's just get out of here, and then we'll go to the what's this one? I haven't actually been to this one. Uh, who is so? Uh, who is this? This person here, Osman. Oh, barbarian assault. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's jump jump through here. Oh, I see. Yeah, and this is this is basically barbarian so and you get points. But I'm probably gonna die. So you know what? I'll just I'll just I'll just let it happen. I'll just let myself die. Actually, we can just get out of here really quickly. Uh, that's also a benefit of the owner's cape. You can just uh, teleport out of, out of almost any situation on low health. So uh, you know that's quite interesting. So. Uh, and of course, with the Barbarian Assault um, mini game, once you've completed it or whatever, you can get. Um, uh, but you get Barbarian Assault points, and then you can spend them on these caskets. And you've seen what sort of things the caskets can loot. Uh, I'll actually talk to the um, owner a bit later and see if I can open a bunch of the really high-level ones or not on uh, video. See uh, what he says about that. And then, what else have we got over here? We've got the Barrows mini game, of course. Uh, let's just open shop here. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what these are, but um, we'll soon find out. And then over here, you've got portals. I'm not sure what these are either, but let's. Um... Okay. All right. So what's this? I'm not too sure what this is. So it says you have 109 NPC kills. So you teleport to floor one. You is this dungeoneering? Maybe. I'm not too sure what this is. But uh, let's let's just attack, attack um, these little monkeys here. Uh, okay, so they they're dropping one bill, one bill checks. I'm not too sure what this is. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna find out. Okay, so I think this is just um, again more NPCs that drop. Um, they drop one bill tickets as their uh, most common drop, as you can see. But they also drop um, some of those caskets that I was talking about. Uh, so, so far I've got a level 1 and a level 2 casket. I haven't got anything better than that so far, but I did get this devil's weapon from it. So we're going to test this out, see what this is. Like. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Um, I, I'm not too sure what to say about this, but let's test it out. Let's test it out. So, um, okay. Obviously, I'm wearing the owner's cape, so it's Kind of, it's going to be overpowered. So let's just remove it. Have a look at the stats. Okay, so it doesn't have any stats, unfortunately. But it just, it just it's it's quite unique. I've never seen anything like this before. I can I can say that with confidence. But um, I got it from a level two casket. So obviously it's not that great. But um, I'm going to try and get some more uh, some more caskets as well. Um. With the owner's cape, it actually gives you a 25% uh, drop rate increase, which is quite cool. So, um, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and get some caskets off of these uh, monkey zombies. Can we just take a moment here to realise that my character is actually having a fag right now? I don't believe it. Right, so I've saved up for nine of the highest tier boxes that um, this shop sells, which is um, the sixth uh, sixth box. And um, we're gonna have a look. We're gonna have a look at what we can get. So let's just, let's just waste not waste any time. Burst two of the plate legs. Okay, so what do these look like? These are pretty pretty decent. We'll take all this off. Look at the stats. 
So that's some pretty high uh, high defense bonuses and really good strength as well. So let's take a look at the next one. Cyrex, even better, even better strength bonus. Pretty beast. Um, beast major plate body. Wow. Um, doesn't doesn't look great. Um, obviously the animation's a bit messed up, but. What sort of stats have we got? 58 strength bonus. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's take this off. Next one, a bud shield. Oh my god. Okay, okay. A completionist plate body. Wow, okay. Um, wow, that, this shield has 125 strength bonus. What the fuck? Damn, okay. Um, next one, uh, 24k Brutal, wow that looks quite cool actually, I like the looks of that, 290 strength bonus, Jesus, a 24k Torva plate body, okay so that matches the uh, whip, uh, what sort of strength bonus does that have, only 35, okay, next two. Uh, beast mage body again and a moss play body which only gives 63 strength Okay Okay, so that's actually gonna be it for this edition of server spotlight as always the links to join the server will be in the description Make sure you uh, drop a like uh, if you enjoyed and if you're going to join and Make sure you leave a comment on what server you want me to do next or you can add me on Skype uh, my Skype name is uh, in the description of my channel, so uh, feel free to add me up, just uh, make sure you, um, you know, tell me who you are, because I don't accept everyone. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.